Hello there, and welcome to Extreme World. In the North African region, a catastrophic event of unprecedented magnitude unfolded. A storm christened as Daniel wreaked havoc, particularly in Libya, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. <laughs> The storm's intensity and the devastation it caused were unparalleled, marking it as a significant event in the region's climatic history. Storm Daniel has claimed thousands of lives, with more than 12,000 feared dead. The most significant destruction occurred in the city of Derna, where two dams collapsed. Much of the city is believed to have been swept into the sea and reports suggest that over a thousand bodies have been recovered. As Daniel made landfall in Libya, it unleashed its fury with relentless rain and gale force winds. The storm's wrath was felt across the country, with infrastructure crumbling under its might. Buildings were flattened, roads were washed away, and power lines were downed, plunging vast regions into darkness. The storm emerged nearly a week after a westerly pressure across the Mediterranean battered a succession of countries. It caused unprecedented flooding in Libya that burst the dam protecting the port city of Derna.
At least 2,600 people are estimated to have died, and tens of thousands remain missing. Emergency services worked tirelessly to rescue trapped individuals and provide relief to those affected. Despite their best efforts, the scale of destruction was such that it overwhelmed the country's disaster management capabilities. The storm itself is not the only cause of loss of life. This is partly a function of Libya's limited ability to predict weather impacts, limited warning and evacuation measures, and planning and design standards for infrastructure and cities, as our climate changes, understanding, planning and adapting to these extreme events will need to be done by individuals, businesses and communities in all countries. We expect the intensity of heavy rainfall to increase as the world warms. The aftermath of Storm Daniel serves as a stark reminder of the devastating effects of climate change and the urgent need for improved infrastructure and disaster preparedness. As we continue to grapple with these challenges, it is critical that we learn from these tragic events and work toward building a more resilient future.